I'm at NAMM in California, and yesterday I set out to look for the most unique, fun, and crazy gear I could find. And here's the top seven, the best of the best. The first thing we found was this weird looking thing. This is a microphone, but what's it for? Let's find out. We stopped here because of the very unique microphone. How would you describe this mic? Basically, you have four capsules. They're all omnidirectional, and they work using a technology a bit similar to what is called ambisonics. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Basically, what what this let us do is that with this microphone we're able to localize the position of every speaker in the room by the millimeter and then we can do time alignment we can we can do other many things uh, and the triangulation and the different position lets you calculate the azimuth so meaning inclination of driver and sound waves coming into your room basically uh, with a very simple short calibration like a couple of minutes with the servo system we can we know everything about your room and your speaker and the ways they interact together, which is very important, you know. Incredible. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. And uh, maybe I'll put some information about Nova and uh, Trudeau yes, please, please. under the video. Cool. Thank you. We found something else. Super weird. Check this out. A telephone booth rack system. This is what I need in the studio next. This should be a vocal booth with the racks in it as well. Look at this. So cool. Hey, look who's here. Who is this guy? How do you get a picture here? Acoustic paneling can be boring or super stylish, unusual, and just plain cool like these acoustic panels we found. You've got to check out how this looks. This is the acoustic treatment that needs to be in the next studio tour. We're a Portuguese company, also based in New Jersey, so we cover both sides of the world. Uh, very eco-friendly company, a lot of these materials are recycled. Uh, cork is a natural thing that happens in Portugal, so it's super uh, eco-friendly as well. We also do different materials like cork, yeah. uh, ARG, uh, melamine foam, we don't use fiberglass, toxic stuff, we don't use it. This is beautiful, I want the whole wall covered with this. Beautiful pieces, look at all this. I think this qualifies as probably the most unique sound treatment we found at NAMM so far. And this company is Jokavi. Yep. Jokavi is making this super interesting stuff and I'll put a link to them in the video description below because this is amazing looking sound treatment. <laughs> Traveling with a guitar can be difficult unless your guitar bends in half. Yes, this guitar by Chiari Guitars actually bends in half. It's amazing and I must admit it had me on edge for a while. The mechanics of this invention are crazy. The strings loosen, the neck bends, and then everything sits neatly into one compact piece. And they even have a travel bag for it. I couldn't believe a bunch of famous artists already use this guitar and I'd never even heard of it truly gets a spot for one of the craziest things we saw at NAMM. While I was hunting down all the unique, crazy, and weird things at NAMM, Dorothy was looking for all the free stuff she can find, and we're going to share it in a video tomorrow. Don't miss out on it, we actually found some epic stuff. If you play a MIDI keyboard, you probably use a sustain pedal and maybe even an expression pedal. But what if you wanted both in one? And then throw in MIDI triggering and more. Let's check out Black PT next. It's the most unique and useful keyboard pedal ever made. This is the world's first combination pedal because it does, for the first time, it combines full switch and continuous control uh, functionality within the same body. Let me demonstrate a few cool things. Absolutely. Here. It's working like a regular sustain pedal. Right, right. But the moment I move my foot to the top, okay. if we can see here, now I'm yeah, yeah, like yeah. an expression. And you're just and you're still doing this movement. I'm just doing that. Wow. For sustain I was doing this. Yeah. And now I'm doing It's very responsive. Yep. Very nice. 
nice. I like this. It's I love things that solve a simple problem in a nice, elegant way. Okay, so we did an unboxing of the Embodmi Array Touch before, but now check this out. He's actually connected it, and he's it's corresponding to the visuals on the screen. So whatever he's doing here is triggering the visuals you see on the screen too. This is cool. It's not just a sound show, it's a light show. Before I get to this interesting touchless motion controller, Nectar was demoing an awesome new MIDI controller for your DAW, so we had to check it out. It controls basic DAW functions as well as virtual instruments. It looks promising and I hope they bring Ableton Live support as well. Right now it's for Logic only. Hey, if you have any questions about NAM, leave them in the comments below and I'm going to be covering a lot more things that we discovered at NAM in this Saturday's news report video. Video. I had to stop by to check out this little gadget to see what the lights were all about. Found something else super unique and interesting and kind of looks, look at that, kind of is weird. What is this? What are we looking at? This is MIDI Blaster. It's an infrared MIDI controller that has four separate infrared sensors that sends four separate effects to your DAW or synthesizer. Okay. And, it, and it works from all the way up here. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, so you can get your range as high as 2,000 millimeters wow. all the way down to zero. That is really cool. Look how high my hand is and it's still doing it. And you can use multiple at a time. Yep, yep. and you can set this all up beforehand in the desktop app. Yep. So we have an app where you can send uh, the MIDI CC signal so you can change all that stuff as well as like the LED colors and what the buttons do and all that stuff. How can, how can people get these? Uh, so these are available for pre-order on our website, thisisnoiseinc.com. It was amazing meeting so many viewers from our producer community here at NAMM. It was honestly my favorite part. I've got more from NAMM coming tomorrow, so stay tuned. Until then, check out the videos here to keep up with all the news from the music year world. Keep making the music you love. I'll see you tomorrow.